how much pain are you willing to take for the uh, yoga? Over the next seven years, the Ioka Marquis remained an icon, but became emblematic of our community's grief and perhaps guilt. We took the theater for granted. Yet like the river that ran behind it, the Ioka Theater from 1915 to 2013 was always an abundant experience coming and going. Had I been in a position to buy it, I would have done no better than the community efforts that went before. After tragedy struck my family in 2017, the Ioka and its marquee served as both a personal metaphor and an anchor. When all I could see were gray tones, I always saw the marquee in color. Because its abandoned emptiness mirrored my mourning, all I could see, hear, and feel when I passed by it were decades of happy memories with my family and friends, and especially my son Bryson. Fast forward to 2020 when the COVID-19 crisis struck and the world shut down, I sought out the Ioka Marquis to ground me again in its metaphor, not realizing that it would involve me in a final adventure and a new chapter ahead. Hardly a soul down here. And sadly, well, the Ioka would be closed anyway at this point even if it wasn't imagine if the poor Ioka had opened in February and uh, had to close down in March that would have been the irony of the century for the Ioka how much pain and suffering are you willing to take for the Ioka theater Huh, that's, that's actually a good question.
Come to the 